Hey, welcome back to Crepe Sea House. Uh, this is the show, Big Talk with Little Joe. And yes, we are back. This is our second episode. So, not here to disappoint. We're back. And today I have a special guest. His name is Bob from the Copycat Print Shop, correct? Correct. Okay, and he's actually from, from West Springfield. So people who are watching the Blue Channel, you might have actually been to his business in West Springfield getting copies and such like that. So. Bob, so how long have you been at the Copycat? Now, you actually started working there. I started working there in 97. And three years ago, I had the opportunity to buy the place. Really? So I've been there, I've been there a long time. Uh, so <laughs> what, fixture, right? It's been about 16 years? About 16 years. Is there, do you have like your picture there or anything like that? Uh, I don't have anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> So what made you get into the whole printing business? <coughs> I don't know. It's, I, I, I grew up in Southampton, so I had a choice of going to two schools. Right. And I chose, uh, I was able to get into Smith Vocational. Mm -hmm. So there you have five classes you can try out. Right. Printing was one, I took automotive, out of body, farming, and then carpentry. Printing was the one that kind of stood out. Now, did you do now? Which ones did you excel at? Did you did you do good in all of them? Or agriculture you, and printing were the only two I excelled at. So you know how to grow your own food. And, and, and you know how to grow your own food. Make copies. Milk a cow. And <laughs> it's great. Good because I actually we'll we'll discuss later that actually I'm gonna make my own uh, garden and he's an agricultural expert, so I can ask him how to. I'm not an expert, but I, I do quite a bit of... Well, you, you pass in school, uh, right? I pass that <laughs> class, yes. So, so you know how to make food. Okay, I know how to you make You know how to make food. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't. I know how to make <laughs> cereal. That's about it. So now you actually just... So you, so when you graduated from school, you're like, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to do printing of some sort, but you weren't sure exactly like what avenue you wanted to go. Printing was it. I, uh, I graduated. I started... Actually, I was a junior and went on work co-op. And what that was, I went to school one week and yep. I went to work one week. I actually, I actually had co-op. I went to school in Boston and I was a finance major and I did co-op uh, internship at a mutual fund company. Yep. But like, I just, I didn't like it. So did, did you have the option to quit? I just, just quit. No, I just, I stayed and as long as I could. I, I, I just, until they took me off the program. Oh, so you liked it. You, oh, I you loved enjoyed it. it. Yep, yep. So, the first company I, I, I worked for, uh, it was a, the co-op company. Right. I stayed with him for 10 years. Really? Yeah. Now, and after graduation, I worked for him full time. You, so you worked for him full time and stuff? So exactly, um, so you worked for him for, you went for about 10 years, and then you went to Copycat, where you, what you own I, now, right? I had, I, I went to another place right yeah. after that for about three years, and then, then I went to Copycat. Okay. Right. And then, yeah, I've been, I've been a company ever since. So, and uh, how many employees do you guys have? Is it, is it just you, or like how? I have, I, a, I have a business partner. Yeah. And I have a, a manager who, who runs a store, mm -hmm. and then I've got um, just a couple of part timers that, that help. Right. So, so it's pretty big. I mean, you have a lot of copies. A lot of people come in for copies and stuff like that. If you need we're, a manager and we're part time yeah. staff. We do we do very well over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're busy. So do you now? Is there only one location in West Springfield? I own the one in West Springfield. There are several in the area. Uh, my business partner owns the one in Springfield, right. Brookwood Boulevard, mm -hmm. and then there's one in Amherst. There's uh, uh, one in Northampton. Mm -hmm. uh, although they changed their name to the Tiger Express. Uh, so there's, there's a couple of us around. So it's like a so it basically it's kind of like a McDonald's of printing shops. Like, yeah, it's like a franchisee. Kind of like, kind of like franchise. a franchise. And now you own you own West Springfield. I own the West Springfield. Right. With your partner who owns West Springfield. Right. So how long has he been in the business? Like how did it, did you know him through working? I knew him through through work when he started working for Copycat. He was hired to to run the West uh, the, the Springfield store and. Uh, we just got to be friends and business partners. Business partners afterwards. Uh, that's uh, so. Now I don't really know anything about copying. Like when I went at school, they had a they had their own copy shop. So when we went in there, we just ordered what we needed and then we 
just copy like little pamphlets and stuff like that, like a ton of paper and yeah. just people just like printing. Is it is it that simple? It can't be that simple. It kind of is that simple. Really? Um, times have changed, and now you don't have somebody bringing in the paper to copy anymore. It's all it email, electronic. It's all electronic. Yeah. Now I probably do. 80, 85% is electronic now. Really? Yeah. And then the rest is all walk-in with hard copies. So with the more electronic equipment, have it, did you need, did you get rid of employees? Was there like less of a need for the employees or is there still a there's high still a need, There's still a need for employees. You have to have the employees to finish the job. Right. You know, if, you, if you're doing a brochure, you got to have somebody who can sit there and fold it. Yeah. You know, if, if you have somebody, if you got books you have to do, you got to have somebody who can find them. And so there, there's still... You ever, staple, still, you ever staple your fingers? Yes, together? I have. I mean, is it painful? It's very painful. Now, do, you, do you use those big, thick staples? We have the big, like thick the, ones or the little, little. It all depends on the, on the size of the job that you're doing. Yeah, the pamphlet? Yeah. So, um, so do you get a lot of schools? Do a lot of schools come to you guys for printing? We do, we do our fair share with the schools. Um, I would say probably most of our work is business. Yeah. So it's it's the the private sector that we do. So not really like West Springfield doesn't come in and we do once in a while we do some work for West Springfield School. Yeah. Um, a lot of it is it, it's all on a bid too. So you have to like an auction kind of thing. Uh, they're, they're looking for quotes and they have to go with the lowest quote. Right. Right. So I'm not I'm not the cheapest person. I'm not the most expensive person. But I, I'm right in the middle where I, I get my fair share of. Jobs. Right, so we should support local. He's a local copy place. We should we should definitely support Bob. Thank you. Yeah, no <laughs> um, so now, has it has the technology changed a lot the since? Because you said has, there's a lot of electronic. It's a lot of when I so. when I started, when I learned how to do this, um, we used to do pay stubs. What we call pay stubs. Right. Typeset a typeset a job. And, you wax the back of it, put it down on a piece of paper, and then you bring it to the camera room, and you make a negative, and and then from there you made a, a, a plate which went to the press. All that stuff is all electronic now. Really? So my shop, um, we've grown. I have what's called a digital press. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just doing so many, so much color work that I needed something that went faster. Yeah. So. Um, it's the quality is as if it was on an offset press. Right. So now what? So, I, I have no idea what an offset press is. An offset press is is, is, is a big press that you put ink in. Uh, the ink is what goes on the paper. Mm -hmm. What I have is is toner that goes on the paper. Okay. But the quality is is like right Mint. here. It, yeah, very good. So you have you also so you do black and white and you also do color. Do color right? work, right? Now is like is there a bigger demand for the is there a bigger demand for the color? There is a big demand for color. Yes. And then now does it depend on like the, a lot of business? Do you get a lot of like private like just people just come in for copies and stuff like say students? Yeah, we have the yeah we have to walk the students to copy uh, old tests. Yeah, we've had a few of those come in. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll we'll get like uh, the students that come in with the projects that need to have them printed out. Right. So you know graphic students. So they'll come. They'll come in towards the end of their school year, and then to get their grades or whatever, you know, they have to have the printouts. Yeah. But we do a lot of brochures. We do a lot of uh, booklets, uh, and it's all in color. Uh, that's the way of the future right now. It's yeah. Color. So how how much time have you saved? Um, the technology has saved you from like way back when you had to do it from. You know, with your hands and oh. <laughs> stuff like that to now with electronic uh, machines. When somebody walks in and says it's just a click of a button, well, kind of, sort of, it is. Four or five it, clicks. It's, it's a click of a button and it's on the machine and it's running. Right. Whereas before you had to, uh, it could take an hour, two hours. It, that's if you did a good job. Uh, yeah. If you did a bad job and you had to go back and refix it, make a new negative, then. No, back then was it really easy to like make a mistake? So you had to be like really. You had to be right on to, to get it done right. So you yeah. you didn't hire anyone with like ADD or anything like no. that. You had to be straight. I I definitely couldn't couldn't do that job. 
Are you... It's a lot easier doing it now than it was then. Yeah, but even then I could like, you know, actually like flip it over the wrong way and copy and just like. You get that happens. Yeah. It still happens. Now, like when you do, when you put in top, now, what, is it like. Well, see, so like the machine will actually copy the other side. Yeah. You can do a double copy, you can yeah. do a double side, right? Right, you can do a double side of copies. Now, because like the copy machines I think of, like at school and stuff, I would just put the picture in, I just put the paper in, and then I would just like print, the push money. the money. Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it that simple? It's or? that simple. We have a. Uh, yeah, you, you put your original on the glass, hit how many you want, press a button. You're done. Fantastic. Now, are you thinking about expanding at all, or are you? No. My business partner <laughs> wants to. Not at all. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I like what I'm doing. I'm very happy there. Um, I, I don't want to spread myself too thin where I can't take care of my customers. Right, yeah. So, and, and, my customers are my bread and butter. Yeah, because you have. I take care of them. You are a small locally owned company, and you're also competing <laughs> against like Staples and. I mean, is Correct. There, is there Office Max? Used to be. It was right across the street from me. Really? Yes. So did you? Was that really? I was very you? nervous when when they showed up, and then three years later they disappeared. So obviously so, you got a W in your in your corner. Yeah, I was happy. Now do you have? Now do you still? Do you do you feel like there's a lot of competition yeah. with the big corporations such as Staples? There there are. There are other companies out there, and yeah, you have to. People are always out shopping, so yeah. you have to. You have to be competitive and, and know your pricing, know your know your product, and you know how you're going to price the job. Yeah. So now, do you now you have do you think you have like a niche market? Do you have like do you have do certain things that other people don't, and that's how you? We do. We do just about. Everything. Uh, if it's something I can't do, I'll find a way of getting it done. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can come in and have a T-shirt and iron on put on a on a T-shirt, or you can come in and have business cards done, or you can come in and have a brochure done, or a wedding invitation, yeah, or a pocket folder. And, you know, now, do you do you work with other copy print shops around you, or do you guys? I'm affiliated with uh, with a with a print shop, so. If there's something that's too big for me to do, I'll send it over there and have them do it. Right. It's just, it's faster to do it that way and, and cost effective. Mm -hmm. So how big of, like, how what's the really big job for you? I, I have no idea, like, the, the length of <coughs> how many pages and stuff like that. A really big job? I, it's, it's hard to say. You know, I can do, depending on what the job is, I can do something up to 10,000 inside the store. Anything over 10,000 copies, I, Usually have to throw on the press. Right now, do you down? Do you charge per page? Per page or per job? It, I sit down and and I don't have a price list. I can't give you a price list because right. your job is going to be different than the next person's job. So it varies. By so that. every job is different. I can do every job differently. Now has has the prices been increasing with you know your your products and stuff over the years like dramatically or is it has it been pretty manageable the prices? Paper is is starting to, to increase quite a bit. Really? Um, I, I've seen a, a about a thirty percent increase over the last three years, so we've had to come up on our pricing a little bit to, to offset that a little mm -hmm. bit, but for the most part we've absorbed it, and just kept on going. Now. Now with technology again is also in your favor, but also it's kind of in a sense working against you because now you have the you have the Kindles in the in the Apple iPads and stuff like that. that in a sense, instead of like copying pages and stuff like that, now you can just go online whatever you need. You can yes. just get it on. The, you get it online and, and you have it right there. And, How do you feel uh, about that? That that must be actually uh, actually it doesn't hurt me. Um, some of the other print shops. Mm -hmm. used to rely on colleges right. because the colleges would have um, their books that they would hand out. Yeah. So these copy shops would, would be able to, you know, they'd make the copies, they'd sell them to the students. <clears throat> I never had that. Yeah. So I didn't have to worry about that, but now all this, all the college stuff is going.